Large luxury cars trade on their advanced technology, their lavish appointments, and of course on their generous size. It's the one segment where the old adage of mine is bigger than yours still seems to hold some relevance. BMW's brand new new generation 7 series is at the cutting edge of technology, of luxury, and of space. Which begs the question where that leaves the only slightly smaller, albeit sportier, 6 series Grand Coupe. The 6 Series range offers a choice of three body shapes, a two-door coupe, a two-door convertible and this car, the four-door Grand Coupe. And if truth be told, I think the four-door with its low roofline, low slung stance and menacing aesthetics is arguably BMW's best looking large sedan, certainly more aggressive than the sleek but somewhat ponderous 7. And while we're talking about size, let's not forget that the 6 platform isn't exactly small, with a wheelbase of just under 3 meters and an overall length a smidgen more than 5 meters. The Grand Coupe is larger than the 6 Series Coupe, but only 9 cm shorter than the 7. But the 6 Series Grand Coupe has a far sportier character. It looks lower and wider, and it has a more athletic stance, emphasized by this very steeply raked windscreen and the typically long, prowling nose of the 6 Series design. Most of the embellishments to this latest model are to be seen at the front and also at the rear. The most obvious changes are to the front, where the larger kidney grills, the new front bumper with bigger air intakes, slimmer headlights and redesigned bonnet all combine to create a more aggressive, more dynamic impression. The headlights are now full LED as standard, with adaptive LEDs an option, while the fog lights consist of LED strips. In profile, the changes are subtle and consist of little more than more streamlined mirrors with integrated light strip indicator repeaters, while the rear window surround is finished in a dark-hued aluminium. The rear gets a wider, more powerful design with larger exhaust tailpipes to further emphasize the Grand Coupe's sporty aspirations. Not much has changed inside the BMW. BMW says it's upgraded most of the finishes and materials and it's also upped the spec levels which means something like this sat-nav system is now standard. But for the most, the cabin remains a familiar place. The ergonomics are still driver focused and the iDrive system works in tandem with a nice big color screen. At the rear, the sculpted seats restrict accommodation to just two occupants, but comfort levels are high. The boot swallows up 460 liters, which is adequate rather than generous. Normally, a sporty demeanor and a turbo diesel drivetrain don't go hand in hand, but this is an engine that is not short of urge. It's a 3 litre straight 6, delivers 230 kilowatts of maximum power, linked to an impressive torque peak of 630 newton meters. Drive is to the rear wheels via an 8 speed automatic gearbox. The drivetrain is linked to a chassis that, while not overly athletic, is certainly tuned for smooth and succinct responses. The damping easily irons out most of the dips and bumps, but without compromising poise, and the steering offers good heft and precision, adding to an overall impression of agility. For those who enjoy driving with a bit more intent, the Grand Coupe offers a sport mode, which delivers a keener throttle response, adds some extra weight to the steering, and allows swifter gear changes. Using the shift paddles for manual cog swaps adds to a driving experience that's a lot more involving than you'd expect from a 5-metre, 1.8-ton sedan. The torque output is particularly impressive and because it peaks at a very low 1500 RPM, response to throttle input is instantaneous. It makes overtaking very easy indeed, gives the car a sporty character and mid-range punch is superb. Those subjective impressions are confirmed by the factory performance figures, which credit the big BMW with a 0 to 100 km an hour acceleration time of just 5.4 seconds and a standing start 1000 meter sprint of 24.7 seconds, while the top speed is electronically limited to 250 km an hour. The 640D also shines in the economy stakes. Given its bulk and performance, the claimed combined consumption figure of 5.5 litres per 100 km is impressive, if a little optimistic. But our average test figure of 6.9 litres per 100 km is still excellent and suggests a range of more than 1,000 km per tank. 
The 640D Grand Coupe combines real comfort and composure with dynamic zest. It's not a sports car in the mold of the M6 or even the 650i, but its ability to react to driver input with real enthusiasm while still transporting four occupants in absolute comfort over long distances makes this car a superb all-rounder. Yes, it lacks the tech and the outright space of the 7, but if you're prepared to spend the money, the 640D Grand Coupe rewards and surprises on many levels. Sharper looks and an upgraded interior are the hallmarks of this latest Grand Coupe, while the turbo diesel drivetrain offers both brio and refinement. The sportier character and slightly smaller form factor make this an appealing alternative to the latest 7 Series. But compared to its rivals, the pricing is steep and accommodation remains restricted to four occupants only.